by using social media. He's donating every last one of them to kids at the Boys and Girls Club. And ABC 21's Carly Van Cleve spoke with the donor today. Thanks, Brian. Today I met the 22-year-old who is providing shoes for hundreds of kids in Fort Wayne. He says it was his one wish for his birthday. Instead of getting gifts this year, he asked for used shoes. And before he knew it, he collected over 650 shoes to donate to his community. After working three summers at the Fort Wayne Boys and Girls Club, he says he just wants to help the kids he works with. As a track runner at Purdue University, a lot of the shoes were from other college students. And growing up in Fort Wayne, he says it's always been his dream to give back. Just knowing the background of all these kids and knowing that some of them aren't as blessed as, as I was when I was that age and seeing their faces light up when they got a pair, uh, this has always been one of my dreams to do something like this and hopefully one day start a nonprofit of my own. And so I wanted to show them that you can reach your dream at any age. Most of the shoes went to the Boys and Girls Club of Fort Wayne, but he also donated to Genesis Outreach. Steven says he will continue the shoe program next summer, and hopefully one day he will turn it into his own nonprofit organization. All right, talk about giving back. Thanks to the generosity of others, 500 local kids will be returning to class this year fully equipped to start a new school year. The Fort Wayne Housing Authority partnered with the Chapel and Fellowship Missionary Church to provide lifeline youth and family services with backpacks packed full of supplies. That will be handed out to children living in the Brook Mill Court Apartments tomorrow. It's important to us because this community is a community of mostly single moms on some type of assistance and often they are concerned with the everyday needs. So we're able to help them out by giving them the supplies that their children need for school so that they can start out with pride and knowing that they've got what they need to start the school year. Some of those backpacks are really snazzy, they I They are. To They're say. good looking backpacks. The annual backpack roundup event will take place tomorrow again at Brook Mill Court Apartments starting at 5. Other family friendly activities will also be happening there. And we should say our sports anchor, Zach Growth, he wears a backpack to work every day. So it's like he's going to class. Oh, does he? brings he? in his black backpack to work that? every day. I haven't either. Yeah. He's, got a sure? lock, he's got a locker in the back, you know? No, we have kidding. lockers? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> Meanwhile, Matt has a snazzy briefcase. and uh, that, that, that is true. It's empty right now. To carry all my important documents. Yeah, I was going <laughs> right. to say, what do you put in yeah. a I have some top secret files. Uh, that comes with the job. You wouldn't understand. But oh. it is. Uh, okay. Well, no, it actually, it actually yeah. is mostly empty. Uh, just optics, you know. But anyway, let's. <laughs> Go ahead and take a look at Skyview. Okay, can I have a briefcase? I want to have one. I still feel like I'm a little too young to have one of those things. I'm you not are. Quite as, as dignified. It's weird. Uh, but in any case, <laughs> uh, current conditions, mostly cloudy skies outside. Really not a bad afternoon. About as good as it gets in late July. 78 degrees, calm wind, humidity is about 50%. And it just feels maybe a degree warmer than it is. But 78, 79, it really all kind of feels the same, doesn't it? Uh, July high temperatures, it was a hot month. You know, we had 10 days in the 90s. No triple digit temperatures, although it definitely felt like it at times. 80 degrees, we reached that number about 17 times during the month, and then four days into the 70s. No 60s hasn't quite been that cool. Now, storm track radar showing mostly clear conditions now. Zooming out, even most of the clouds that we were seeing earlier today beginning to kind of fizzle with that front that continues to spread off to the east. Looking at clouds and showers to our west too, but look at the direction orientation here of these showers. That's because we have a ridge of high pressure overhead. That's going to keep things generally pretty dry and shunt a lot of the rain possibilities off to our south and to our west, even off to our east, keeping us dry here for at least the next several days. But we're also looking at a lot of drier weather too. So at 78 degrees in Fort Wayne, 80 in Indianapolis, mid 80s in Evansville, 86 in Cincinnati, but cooler near the lake in Chicago at 75 degrees. Now the wind and dew point right now shows some pretty comfortable temperatures, 58 degree dew point in Fort Wayne, 50 in Grand Rapids. Remember, the more separated the dew point is and the current air temperature is actually as dry as it is. So we are looking at a pretty a comfortable distance from air temperature and dew point. Now, wind speeds out of the north northwest also help it feel a little drier too. Future track showing mostly clear skies as we head into tomorrow morning. Generally, a pretty nice morning.
morning. We're not looking at much fog either, uh, thanks to a lot of that moisture that fell a couple days ago. Now uh, uh, turning pretty dry across the region. As head into Thursday afternoon, partly the mostly sunny skies, most of the clouds off to our west, although by Thursday night, early Friday, we may not see very many clouds at all, just mostly sunny conditions. That is also the same story into northwest Ohio. That continues into Thursday, a uh, Friday evening rather. Now temperatures will be into the upper 50s overnight.